we are. Every autonomous data warehouse includes a built-in data studio to streamline the workflow from data load all the way through to analysis. There's nothing more to buy, install, or maintain. So here's the data studio interface. And if I look in my autonomous data catalog, I'll see all of the files I have available to me in my autonomous database. Now, I want to perform an analysis of movie sales by customer genre and customer value. And here I have data for movies, customers, time, movie titles. What I don't have is data about movie genres. But as a data lakehouse, autonomous, data, autonomous database provides access easily to data distributed across a multi-cloud data lake. I've got data in Google Cloud Platform object storage, in OCI, in Amazon S3, and in Azure blob storage. So I've got an awful lot of files distributed across this multi-cloud data lake. But it's easy for me to find what I'm looking for. I simply search, in this case, for genre. And here's the file I'm looking for. In a bucket in Amazon S3. Very good. So using Data Studio's data load tool, I'm going to create a link to this file so that I can treat it as if it's data local to me in my autonomous database, even though physically the data remains in S3. Great. So now I have that file. Indeed, I have all the data I need. What remains now is to transform that data. And it's very easy to do this using the built-in transforms tool. I've already begun work on a data flow to do this data transform. So I have um, the fact table I want to build here is called customer sales analysis. And starting with the individual movie sales, I can aggregate by customer and group these into bins by customer value. Now, I need to join in this genre data that we just found in S3. So I complete this join by hooking this table up to the join and connecting the output to the fact table, customer sales analysis. So I'll save and execute this data flow to populate that fact table. Great. So now let's do some data analysis. In other words, I want to take an analytic view of my data. And it so happens that we have a structure in the Oracle database called an analytic view. Let's build one here. And we're going to base this on the fact table that we've just created, customer sales analysis. I want to measure total sales by various dimensions or hierarchies. Let's use age group, customer value, and movie genre that we just added. OK, so we'll build this analytic view. And now it's time to look at our data. Here we see a little pivot table showing us data analysis of movie consumption by various age groups. Now, if I look at this graphically, we see quite a range of um, distribution of movie cons consumption across these age ranges. But the analysis that I want to perform is based on customer value and on movie genre. And here we see, in the lowest sector of customers, a strong preference, this big bar here, for action movies. Whereas if I slide over here to the right-hand side, the highest value customers, the high rollers, have a strong preference for drama. Very interesting, very insightful, it's sort of information that we can build a campaign for this particular market segment. Now, the great thing about analytic views is that this information can be, can, can be consumed natively um, in Oracle Espace or Oracle Analytics. Um, it can also be exported to Tableau or Power BI, or indeed viewed in Excel or Google Sheets through various add-ins. Let's have a look at the very same information in Google Sheets. And here we have that same analysis of movie consumption by age groups. 
and here, movie consumption by customer value, and movie genre. So this ability to reuse the analytic view in multiple different client tools provides great value and greatly adds to the productivity. So to recap what we've seen today, um, I browsed my multi-cloud data lake. I located the data that I needed in a bucket in S3. I loaded it uh, by creating a link to that file. I transformed the data for analysis. We built a business model that we could preview in the data analysis tool or indeed consume in any one of the tools we see, Oracle Analytics, S-Base, Power BI, Tableau, or a spreadsheet interface. So back to you, Andy. Thank you very much, Patrick. Thank you.